matter, Beaver. Well, you see, Gus, what's well, something I can't tell any of the kids or my parents, so I thought I'd come to you. I see. I know I'm practically grown up and everything, but there's something I'm supposed to do today, and I'm scared like a little kid. You're not scared. Scared of what, Beaver? Well, I got to run on a big different roller coaster over to New Park, and I'm scared to. So that's it. Well, yeah. Well, I saw you scared when it comes to high stuff. Well, does that mean I'm a baby, Gus? Well, if it does, you're looking at one of the biggest babies that ever lived. You? When you're a rookie fireman, you have to jump off of this high tower into a net. You know what I said to myself? I said, Gus, if you've got to jump into that net, you might just as well forget all about being a fireman and keep on working in your father's grain and feed store. Gee, Gus, I never thought a guy like you'd be afraid of anything. I was just like you, Beaver. I didn't like the idea of climbing up on high places, much less jumping off into a little bitty net. Well, what did you do? Well, I, I kept thinking about it. I said to myself, well, other men do it, and I don't think they're any braver than I am. And suddenly I realized what was really wrong. I was afraid of being afraid. You mean, maybe I'm just scared of being scared? I'm sure that's it, Beaver. You know, you could walk away from that roller coaster and not go on it. But if you do ride on it, <laughs> you'll find it was just like me in the net. When it was all over, oh, I was never happier about anybody in my whole life than I was with old Gus. Gus, the rookie fireman who trembled like a leaf all the way up that ladder. Boy, Gus, I kind of feel better already, knowing that you used to be afraid of something. I'll tell you what, Beaver, when you go in that roller coaster today, just keep saying to yourself, Gus and the net, Gus and the net. Okay, Gus, thanks a lot. Just the net. Just the net. Just the net.